Oh, give it a minute. Give it a minute here, people. Just have to switch this around. There we go. Is that right? That's right. See? They change all the settings on these videos, so I can't flip it until I actually start the video now. Makes it a little messy, but here we are. Here we go. How long is it going to take to regulate hormones? How long does it take for my system to really, really function uh, back the way that it was? Um, um, I wrote down some estimates here based on some different things that we'll talk about. The other thing is that uh, it's always hard to picture your body how it will be when it gets better, but not like it used to be. You know, for example, if you were like, oh yeah, I had babies and I just want my body back the way it was before I had babies. On a lot of different levels, your physical body achieved something that it's, there's parts of it that are, are never going to go back, you know, like stretch marks or your bone structure or there's like your tissue changes, your soft tissue changes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just in terms of go back, like, what are you referring to? Just a physical size or to fit into a pair of pants or, you know, but also why? Do you want your body stronger? Do you want it functional? That type of a thing. So when we're looking at timing and our expectations for our body, it's important to have some reasonable time frames to move forward with so we're not giving up too early, which I see a lot of gals do, or getting frustrated with our system for not performing at the speed it should when really you might have more complicated things going on. So if you're wondering about this or like, how do I know this? How do I do this? I'm going to put a link here in the comments. This is for the wait list for the 12 week challenge. Um, registration does not open for a bit here, but the only way that you get a link for registration is on the wait list. So that is why I do a wait list because I can only, uh, Dr. Victoria and I can only take so many people in the 12 week challenge. So there is that. Um, so when we're looking at these things, I'm going to run through some scenarios here and talk about this. When we look at liver stuff, when we look at estrogen, progesterone issues, androgen issues, your liver does a majority of the processing for that. So if we're looking at overall levels, that's, that's a different thing. And again, that's where I actually created, formulated, I created and formulated and made these, um, and they are about, about to pop. So like, um, there's a wait list for these as well, which is on my website. But for estrogen and progesterone to balance your hormones, it's like seed cycling, but it's a supplement. They're tinctures, so they're super easy to take. That's going to help your overall levels balance. But beyond that, the next level that a lot of people need help with is actually having your body process things correctly. So that's done mainly through the liver. Again, there's other things that do that, but liver does all the heavy lifting. So when we're looking at the liver, how long can it take things to process through the liver? Optimally, two to three months-ish. You know, again, that's a shorter time frame, right, overall, to really flush things through the liver. And so if you're like, well, I did a liver cleanse for seven days or 10 days, cool, cool, you know, great. I'm not saying that doesn't flush the liver. But if you're looking at having that hormonal impact through the liver, this is the shortest time frame you're going to see. Because <laughs> that's the hormonal turnover. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how the female body works. There's that time frame. Mm -hmm. um, so this is actually pretty good. A lot of gals will notice an improvement, you know, in the short end of that. Great, great. But again, if it takes, you know, two to three months to really regulate your system, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty great to get your system back online and functioning the way that it should. Sometimes it can take longer, four to six months. Why would it take longer? Well, if you have had issues for a long period of time, if you've been on hormonal birth control for a long period of time, if you have struggled, if you, you know, in this time frame, maybe something else goes wrong. Maybe you start regulating your hormones and then you have a miscarriage and you kind of have to start over again. These are all possibilities. Sometimes these aren't things that you plan or you know. It just, yeah, that's kind of how it goes or what happens. So you have to roll with it and give your body enough time to really go through it. Most of the time when I look at, because we do a Dutch test um, with the 12-week challenge, so that's why I put the wait list there. You get a Dutch test, we go over it and customize everything to you. If your levels are really off, sometimes I will say, yeah, this is your, this is going to take a while. Ooh, you're on the uh, extended plan here because 
to expect your system to take care of wicked high levels in a short period of time is a lot for your system to do. Or if you ever have other complicating factors, if you have a thyroid issue, autoimmune issue, chronic fatigue issue, other adrenal issues, it can just take, your body has a lot to do. Your body has a lot to do. So it can take longer for your system to, to process through it. Um, Sydney, I'll take up to a year to balance it out. Yeah, like that's, that's a thing too. Yeah. Um, and then even after that, your system may be a system that might need constant support after that. Right? M maybe you do. Maybe you do. Maybe you're always going to need some constant support for your hormones. You might. How would we know that? Well, besides the Dutch test, we also do genetic testing. If you have liver issues, if, you, you know, if your body does not detox well on its own, or you're super inflamed, or you have other things going on, yeah, we, you might function the best by, by having some maintenance level of liver support for your hormones ongoing. Now, that's not a majority of people, but it is some people, and maybe that's you. Like, if you've always felt like, gosh, I feel really good when I'm doing this thing, but every time I stop and try to go back to my regular whatever, I feel like garbage again. You might have to make your regular thing that maintenance, right? Of always doing something. Oh, does that mean I'm always gonna have to take a supplement? Maybe, <laughs> you know? I, um, my uh, genetic testing that I did, the results of it were fascinating because I found out, and of course, looking back and I'm like, duh, I should know this. Every time I've got my vitamin D tested, every time I'm deficient. And then I start taking vitamin D and then I'm like, Pfft. I should be good. I should be good. Or, you know what? I've been outside all summer. I've been making sure I've been getting sunshine, etc. Oh, look, I got my vitamin D tested again and it was terrible. What? How? <gasps> Genetically, I have terrible levels of vitamin D. I'm always going to need to supplement. Duh. Why did I not put those uh, pieces together? Cool. It just took me 40 years. Cool. 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 Got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> But now moving forward, I know this information and I can always keep my system functioning at its best with the most support possible. So there's that. So that's the thing with liver. A lot of times we'll go, you know, I give uh, gals this kind of type of time frame. Sometimes we go to this and for some people it's this. It just depends on where you fall. And again, we do testing to figure out which category you fall in. And again, oftentimes, a lot of times, um, People think, gosh, is it because I took birth control? I knew I shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, I did this and that, and that's why this is bad. No, oftentimes, this is nothing that you did, right? It is just kind of the cards you were dealt or what you went through. So that's kind of how it is, yeah. Um, other hormones that we really work on as well, um, we test for these as well on the Dutch, the adrenals, cortisol levels, your stress response, all those fun things. Um, a minimum, I always talk about at least four to six months. I have seen things turn around for some people a little sooner than this, but it's really not very often. Really, really not very often. But this is kind of a standard thing. For others, it's anywhere from seven to 10 months or even one to two years. And if you're thinking, how would it take one to two years? Listen, the last year and a half of our lives right now that we're all like living through together, this is part of it. It's really, really exhausting to be under this kind of stress and pressure and, and not knowing. And especially the way the female brain works and functions, the unknown causes increased stress responses in our bodies, which has a whole trickle down impact on the rest of our endocrine system and everything else. Yes. So I more frequently would see this before, but now it's, uh, it's getting split here, to be totally honest. Again, not because people are not doing the right thing or following the recommendations or whatever. It's just, oh my gosh, the level of stress has increased and the duration has increased for so many, for so many. And that is what it is. So it's about, okay, what do I need to do to support my system, to turn this around, to really get this going in the right direction? And that's a different answer for everybody. This is why we do testing. For some, their adrenals are in overdrive. And those are different things to calm those down, cool those down, to get your system to function better versus, oh, I, my adrenals are flatlined. They're barely functioning at all. That's a different thing to get them going again, to support that. Yes. 
Um, turn around, what do you see in a retest or how someone feels? Ooh, yes, excellent question again. So yes, both, both. We do retesting. Uh, we do retesting uh, of hormones and everything else, uh, as well as, as symptoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, both. Both are important. Both are important. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then when you're looking at things like one to two years, again, this can just depend. How long were you stressed? Do you have a history of trauma? Do you have any other health complications? Do you have any other health factors? I ask questions like, you know, uh, did you have strep throat a lot as a kid? Have you had mono? Do you have chronic Lyme? You know, Lyme disease. Um, you know, have you had major illnesses or injuries previously exposed to trauma? All those things are going to impact how well your system can repair. It, they do. They do. It all plays a part. Your health is cumulative. It's cumulative. What you're experiencing right now is a buildup of everything that you've gone through. So even if you're like, I was super healthy three years ago. Awesome. If you've been unhealthy or super stressed in the past two years, which most of us have, <laughs> then it makes it harder. And that's just the way, you know, okay, that's okay. So there's just different things we need to do to support our systems to get moving in the right direction. So there's that. So let me know if you guys have questions on this or if you want me to do a deep dive video on one of the things that I mentioned here or like really, you know, like piece this out specifically and say, hey, can you talk more about this piece or adrenals and um, like overdrive? Tell me more about that or something, how that turns around, what that looks like. I'm more than happy to do that. Just let me know, put a comment down below. Um, and then other resources for you, I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. Uh, female Menopause Solution. If you don't have a cycle anymore, how to eat for your new menopause body. There, those are both on Amazon. And then I also have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth West. So you can subscribe to stay updated on all the things I have coming out. And then my podcast is called The Female Health Solution, where I do episodes on all things uh, uh, female health. And yeah, again, if you guys have more questions or let me let me know if there's anything else that I can provide you as information just to help navigate some of these really, really tough things. So otherwise, have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.